What is going on YouTube? What is up Team Red? Team YT, it's a beautiful day. I hope you guys are having a great one as well. Thanks for stopping in the acrylics one and only. Be sure to check me out on Twitch and Facebook for the live streams as well as TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter for all the exclusive content. I love making content for you guys and playing this game. It's so much fun and I really want to bring you guys another loadout and I want you to stick around because I'm going to show you the SMG in this game that is so good and overlooked but it's being set up incorrectly. I'm gonna show you guys the right way to set this gun up and turn it into a banger. So be sure to stick around and watch this whole video so you can learn. I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know about this gun and why it is the best SMG in the game for range and stability while not sacrificing any speed whatsoever. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, like, comment below and share the video as it helps it grow so i can make more content for you guys as i love doing this hope you guys have a great day stick around to the end i'm going to show you everything you need to know we'll catch you on the next upload or live stream i'm out of here deuces Okay, guys, so this is probably what some people would consider the ideal loadout for the MX-9. Your 7 milliwatt laser for ADS speed, a nice close-range optic, 
Bruin Q900 grip for more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. And of course, you're stuck at 25 round magazine, so anyone's going to want 32 rounds to just give you that little extra ammunition to get your kills. And a muzzle that doesn't kill your ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, but gives you sound suppression. Generally speaking, this setup is terrible. Gun's going to do hardly any damage. It's going to be nice and fast, but I'll take you into the fire range and show you why this is not a good setup. You see, it's decently quick. And it's not too bad a recoil, but I missed all those last shots. It's not a good setup. I mean, it's okay, but that's what your typical setup looks like. We're going to take all this off, okay? This is not a good setup. You want to really run this gun in the right way to make it really good. So first off, we're going to start with a 508 barrel. We need range. This gun has no range at all. It's very bad. For team deathmatch, it's okay. But when you set it up right, you can actually get the speed out of this gun. And I'm going to show you how. We want to get this gun set up just right. And I'm going to show you not only how you're going to get the damage range and bullet velocity as well as stability, but we're not going to sacrifice any of the speed at all. Let me show you exactly how you do that. First, we start off with the 508 barrel. Next, we move along to the Syngard MK5 or MKV magazine, 32 rounds. Now we've got extra ammunition, good range and stability. We're going to go ahead and further that. And instead of putting a Bruin Q900 grip on, which is going to give you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, we're gonna go with the Step 40 grip. And I'll explain why. Let me show you in a minute here. Next, we got the comb, Bruin TS30 comb. That is what we're gonna do right there. This is your loadout. Now, this may look a little weird because of the fact that it looks more like an AR now, but it's not. We're gonna tune recoil steadiness and damage range up. We're going to take recoil smoothness and bullet velocity up. And the reason we're doing that is because we need the most range and stability out of our barrel and our suppressor. And we're going to rectify that by coming over here on the Bruin comb. And we're going to put on recoil stabilization, but we're going to give it ADS speed. By doing this, we're getting the ADS speed back from the muzzle. Okay, we've done that. Now we go to the grip and we're going to give ourselves more recoil steadiness and give us sprint to fire speed. So the comb and the grip are now giving us recoil control and recoil steadiness, but they're giving us ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Exactly what we're losing in the barrel and the silencer, which means this gun is gonna ADS and sprint to fire as fast as it would with no attachments, but then we're getting all the range and stability from the barrel and suppressor, as well as the grip and the comb, and we're getting the damage range and bullet velocity. So this gun's going to be about as fast as an average SMG, but it's going to be as stable and as damaging as some of the ARs. It's a very good setup. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This gun has practically no recoil at all. We couldn't do that with the setup previously. It is crazy. And you can see the ADS speed is not slow. And you can hip fire this gun pretty good. This gun makes a perfect companion to a sniper rifle or a marksman rifle, giving you the close range, but also that mid range that you would lack on most SMGs, as this gun has practically no recoil whatsoever.